So we're walking down to the beach. <laughs> Where are we now then? On the beach. Whereabouts? North Berwick. Berwick? Yeah, I don't know whether it's Berwick or Berwick. Berwick, Berwick. But that's where we are, having a walk before dinner. Blue skies and the yep. dogs are running and rolling and things. <laughs> Let's have a look. Run, so run. Oscar. Tonight we're staying at North Berwick, a caravan and motorhome club site, and it's lovely, really near the beach. It's a nice little woodland walk to get down to the beach, and uh, we've just run the dogs. Um, again this morning. We stayed here last night just for one night after our long day of sightseeing in Falkirk and we're about to start off on the long journey south back to Ipswich. It's um, over 400 miles and uh, we're going to hit the road at around about nine o'clock. It's ten past eight at the moment we're just getting tidied up and uh, ready to leave and uh, Sue is out there uh, in the van doing the, the pink jobs and uh, I'm pottering about outside here making sure the van's ready for the long trip. Just walk the dogs. I'll take you for a quick look around the site. And already our neighbours have uh, left their pitch. They set off at about eight o'clock uh, just about ten minutes ago. As you can see is uh, the usual um, arrangement. We're on grass here. A lot of the pictures of grass, it's well drained because we're right next to the coast. So, uh, very sandy soil. And uh, this is one little area here, a few trees. I'll take you over to the main facilities block, which is just in the next, uh, next area. Sheila and Joe were parked at one, two, three, with three vans in between us last night. We got in um, around about half past four and the site, we're in a Friday night, the site was pretty full. So that's about as close as we could get, but we did have dinner together. And uh, walking just down the little road here brings you to the facilities block and uh, two buildings. Um, one of them is the shower toilet um, sort of facilities and uh, the other one has got uh, washrooms uh, there's chemical waste point there and sorry the other one's got laundry and um, food preparation washing up that sort of thing and round the site a little further as you can see there are several little roads that lead into cul-de-sacs but they're all very nice lined with bushes and trees and uh, nicely spaced out a small children's play area with swings and uh, climbing frames and so on we drove round uh, here last night and it was all full this bit quite popular with the families 
typical service point here with drinking water, grey water emptying and uh, bins it's interesting because some of these sites have little seating areas there's one here and a little herb garden look <laughs> with uh, kitchen herbs looks like it's just uh, started up and uh, wardens have put uh, a recipe of the month leek and herb stuff jackets Hmm. Might be worth a try. There's a nice little seating area. It's in the shade at this time of day, but later in the day it'll be in sunshine. Another little road down there with uh, more pitches. Leads up to this area at the top, slightly raised area. And to my left, we're now coming to the exit. To my left is the motorhome service point really nice. I mean the Caravan and Motorhome Club do a fantastic job for motorhomes. Um, you just drive over this grid, make sure your valve is in the correct position and open the tap. And then you've got some um, uh, wastewater for grey and a hose there for, for rinsing and a uh, fresh water tap that you can put your own hose onto. And a chemical waste point and bins. So, uh, for your general waste, another road running around there with more pitches. And then we're coming down to the usual security on the gate, which needs a card to get in and the automatic barrier to get out. Only about five minutes or so to walk to the beach and you walk across a big public, uh, public car park. Visitors parking is just outside here. Um, there's plenty of space. There really is plenty of space on this site. And the big field to the right here, where the gate is, just here, is the dog walk area. And that, I mean, there's a couple of acres there. Um, fabulous. Um, so spinning round, we come back to uh, back into the site again. The wardens, motorhomes, and caravans are on the right there. As I say, met both couples, very nice. And the reception is just on the left. And when you arrive, you pull up to the stop marker, check in, pay your fees, and you're allowed to go through the barrier. Uh, most of the caravan and motorhome club sites provide local information and a little bench here look. Um, it's great because you get uh, everything from bus timetables, train timetables, tide times, weather forecast, um, all sorts of other notes and information that people have run through and then a little little shed really which has got all sorts of leaflets maps and a first aid kit fabulous and uh, inf local information about attractions dining out a little book share and a public phone as well so if your mobiles get damaged or you drop them in the sea, <laughs> I've known that to happen, believe me, I've walked into the swimming pool with a mobile phone in my shorts pocket. You just don't think these days, do you? Well, I don't anyway. Well, that's about it. That's North Berwick Caravan and Motorhome Club site. I'm going to cheat now and climb over this little hump. Don't tell anyone, though. See Bertie popping his head over the hump. Looks like a few people have done this before. Morning, Oscar. Thank you.
Morning. Have you had your tea? Oh, it's breakfast. 